In this video, I want to go over 9.1.23 using technology. And what we're going to do here is we're going to look at this little icon and it's going to go over the sample size needed for a given estimate. Now we're going to assume some of these P1, P2, Q1, and Q2 is 0.5 because they're not given. And simplifying this expression, makes it a little bit easier to deal with. This is the z value for whatever alpha over two we're given, squared divided by two times whatever um, maximum error we're given squared. So let's look at this example for this specific one. We want a confidence interval of 99%. So if I wanna look at the 99%, my alpha in this case is 0.01. Now I want to look at it to the right or the left, so this 0 0.01 divided by 2 is going to be 0 0.005. So if I take 1 minus 0 0.005, that gives me the 0.995 for my area that I look up. And so if I go to a table or if I pull up StatCrunch in this case, um, let's just pull up StatCrunch. And I go to calculators and I go to the normal distribution. I'm looking for the area to the left is going to be 0.995. That's going to give me this value here, 0.995 in this case. Now this would be different if you're looking at a different um, problem here, 99%. If it was like 95%, your alpha would be 0 0.05 divided by 2, and then you'd be finding a different here. So 995 is what we're finding in this um, case and so this gives me that z value. That z value is going to be plugged into this equation for this um, z squared. So I'm going to end up plugging this z squared and then I'm going to divide that by my 2e squared and e is no more than 0 0.06. So then I'm going to divide that by 2 times 0 0.06 squared. I'm not on my uh, tablet here, so my drawing's a little crazy. So I have 2.5758293. I want to square that. And then I'm going to divide by 2 times 0 0.06 times 0 0.06 because this calculator kind of sucks. So I'm going to have to put it in that way. And then I get enter. And that's going to give me 921.5. So I'm going to put 922. So when I go to put that in, my question. 922 and they're going to be the same for um, men and women because I assume the 0.5 for each um, and you can see that's correct there so hopefully this um, answered how to go about this type of question if I look for a similar question at the bottom of the page I can click similar question and you can see the E is going to change and your confidence interval is going to change from 90 to 90 percent confidence so I have a 10% to the right or the left of that. And if I divide that by two, that gives me a 5%. So I'm really looking for um, a 95% critical Z value. And then go through and plug it in the formula like we did for this Z. The only thing here that's gonna change is your critical Z value for whatever confidence level you have. And then whatever, um, significance or error E that you're given is going to change and so you're going to be able to compute the number of X or Y men or women in this case um, this sh the sample should include if you have any other questions please keep me posted